Okay, we need to know how to solve a right triangle. So in the, in the last video, you were given one side length and you knew that you had a right triangle and you knew the measure of one of the acute angles. You could easily figure out the other acute angles measure um, because the two acute angles add up to 90 degrees and you could uh, use trigonometric ratios to find the lengths of the remaining two sides. So um, that in that situation, you could solve the right triangle, find all of the uh, measures, find all the unknown measures, all right, given some measures. Now, if you knew two sides of a right triangle, you could also do the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side. Um, in this case, we know two sides of the right triangle. We could use the Pythagorean theorem to find the third and remaining side. But we need to be able to figure out the measures of the acute angles, and we don't know either one. If I could figure out the measure of angle A, I could subtract that measure from 90 and get the measure of angle B. So this video is about how we're going to find the measure of angle A. But first, I want you to hold up your calculator, right, like this, right? Okay, so uh, there's a button that says T-A-N, like tan. All right, I'm going to press that button, tan, tan. I'm getting nice and tan. I'll, I'll wait before you hit it too many times. I want you to find the second button. That means like inverse tan, second tan, second tan, second tan. All right, because you see, I just didn't want you to end up with a sunburn. So I, I just wanted you to know how to, you know, get an inverse tan in case you got, you know, too much sun out there. It is spring. We've had some nice weather. The sun is out more often, getting more intense. Ha ha. Now, try second sin, second sin. I don't know how many times you're going to have to hit it, but uh, probably at least three times here. Second sin. Uh, that's really sign, right? But, you know, it does say sin on it. And, you know, don't you just feel better? Okay. Sorry about all the bad jokes, but I hope I made you laugh. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, so we are going to learn how to do the inverse functions. You see, if you know the angle, you can do the sine of the angle, right? And if you want to go in the opposite direction, you know the ratio, which is the sine of the angle, you can then uh, work backwards and get the angle. Okay, so previously you had like an angle measure, right? An angle measure. And then you hit like one of the buttons, maybe the sign, right? And you knew what the angle measure was. And you hit the sign button and it gave you a ratio. Like in this problem up here at the top, okay, that 0 0.507 is a ratio. The ratio of the two side lengths, the op, the one that's the opposite of the angle I'm trying to figure out uh, compared to the hypotenuse, right? The opposite leg in the hypotenuse uh, would tell me to use sine. Sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So if I had known the angle, I could type the sine of that angle and it would be a ratio given to me. Well, in this problem, I could divide, I already know what the ratio is, so I can divide, make it a decimal, and then, since I already know what the ratio is, I'm going this direction, I'm going in the inverse direction. So it's inverse sign. So inverse sign on your calculator probably has this little negative one as used as, as an inverse symbol. Okay, so I'm going to do inverse sign on my calculator here. Okay, 
So to get the measure of angle A, you have to do the inverse sine of the ratio. Right? And then on your calculator, uh, make sure you're in degree mode again. Um, if you're not getting that, right? So you should get 30.5 uh, degrees for the measure of angle A. It's the inverse sine of 0 0.507. 0 0.507 is the sine of some angle. And inverse sine gives you what that angle is. So 30.5 degrees. So if I need to know angle B, I'll do 90 minus 30.5 degrees. So that would be 59.5 degrees. Okay, so lastly, if I had to solve the triangle, I could do the Pythagorean theorem, you know, uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that's it. Okay, so again, like, how did I know how to use sine? How did I know I involved sine? Because I was trying to figure out angle A. Right, and and then I wanted to. I, I knew the opposite leg, and I knew the hypotenuse. So of course, I would use the two that I knew because they make that ratio. That is the sine three point eight compared to seven point five. Is the sine the sine is a ratio? Cosine and the tangent they're different ratios. So the sine of the angle is that ratio. Now I need to get the angle, and I just. And working backwards to figure out the angle, I'm doing having to do the inverse. So there you have it. Again, practice, uh, do your homework, and uh, you'll you'll end up accomplishing a lot. Okay.